Welcome back guys to Trails in the Sky, second chapter where last episode Olivier joined back up with us on board the Arcel as we took flight towards the Oriole, slipping past the glorious in its attempts to stop us and meeting low in the sky controlling an archaism to take us down as we crash landed onto our target. Now as the crew tries to get our airship flight worthy once more, our party heads out to explore the Libra Arc, entering the tunnels below. Joshua! Save us! You're the only one! Just save us, Joshua! Give Olivier another level up! There was something at the end of the tunnel then! I'll take rewards! That's Olivier, another level. Chloe is close. Well, that's level 70 for him. He's catching up with the pie as we get a Dominion. The space for rent. Yeah. We've got a weapon for blooming thingamabob. And he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, you're not going to turn around, are you? Oh, I got you. Ha! Joshua needs a CP back. It's not a critical. You can do it, Olivier. Critical nothing! He's just so low level compared to the monsters, unreal. And that's Chloe. I wonder if shining problems do appear in places like this. So it looks like we've got nowhere we can go here for the time being. Oh, actually, I haven't been down here yet. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, there's chests everywhere. Silver gem? Is this your way of asking me out on a date? What's a silver gem then? No, no, let me go up. Let me go up. Stop it. A silver gem is max EP plus fifteen percent. Oh my goodness! Look at the the elemental values. No downside. Eight, eight, twelve. Kind of ridiculous, right? Well, that would solve all my problems with him. In terms of switching things around to get AoE heals, wouldn't it? 100% that solves every problem. I'd have to rearrange some stuff. Be better on the others for now. No joke, but still. Right now, where am I going? Underneath things? Why am I getting treasure chests? But I feel like I'm supposed to be exploring something as part of a point. You know? And knock you out of range for that, guys. Sorry, Olivier. I could have left it, but... At least your ATS isn't terrible. You do quite good damage. How much physical damage does Chloe do, then? She does have a massive physical attack down. That's that. You wonder if Joshua ever uses daggers again? He's using them now. What do you mean? That's appropriate. With this treasure down here, I'm going to keep exploring, you know? Can't help it now. But now I'm going to save for every chest just because of how low a level Olivier is. Alright, Sepith. Times 100 of every type. You might... Look, this light, you look mighty familiar. Didn't we mean last game? Never here. Never here. Joshua, finish it. Ah, oh, what? Well. Look at that... Look at that damage! We're good to go. Ah, uh, well, Olivier's about to hit 71. We didn't really have to baby him for all that long. He does do good damage with his spells, no matter what. That's the preemptive attack on that guy. We found it's ass. Job done.
He doesn't deny it, but I should probably buff Joshua a bit more in physical attacks and use him as more physical, especially in this part. But at this point, it is that experience feed that we've got going on. This isn't grind though, this is exploration. Any more treasure chests? Well, that one is blue light. Okay, there's a treasure chest. Save again. Worry about the fears. I'm reviving Barb. Don't flip your lid. Flip mine. Honey bunny. That chest wants me to flip him off. Okay, this is allowing me upwards. I've got to worry about randomly walking into some kind of boss monster here. <laughs> That's what I'm fearful of. How do we get CP on the others? Not done yet. That wasn't an unnecessary death blow, it was a perfectly necessary death blow. It was meant to kill the monster, so it killed it better. It's not like Fire Emblem's second attack blooming criticals. AP charge do. Oh, but I'm cutting you off. Oi! Keep attacking because that beautiful experience can't not not have it. I'm guessing if stealth. Oh no, it's already done. Game done. The monster was intended to be dead. Great. Not done yet. It's just Joshua repeating that secret over and over now, as he grinds up Olivia, who does nothing to help himself. Oh my goodness, there's another top floor here! Which way do I want to even go at this point? There's another chest here, this one's got our monsters in it. No, two all above. You need to tear the top of the chest off its hinges in your excitement to open it. Your face falls as you realise there's nothing inside. I mean, this does remind you of Under the Castle quite a bit, doesn't it? Bit of a bigger group this time. A piss fool will never hurt. Dell's on a critical. Should probably just actually completely destroy one of them, probably. Nope. Good job there, Olivier. Didn't I skip doors? Well, I have to go back the same way, don't I? Me not taking the orbital trade when the game wants me to. I'm a rebel. Alright, level ups for more. Oh, Joshua leveled up. You're kidding. That's a great level up. He gets his EP back. An Onyx gem has now been found. As you reach into the chest, the lid suddenly snaps down. He's in you alive. Kidding. I oh, should see the look on your face. Kidding. Even more cool gems. What is an Onyx gem then? Speed plus 50%, movement minus 2, action 5. 12 time elemental value. Again, that solves a lot of my problems. Can I have it on there? No. Joshua doesn't need to move that much, you see. Just wondering if I could have that on someone else, like Estelle, actually. Like, no joke, she might actually get quite a bit of stuff from it. Plus, she has ridiculous movement as it is. So I'm just wondering if I could put that on her. Already got, I know I've already got an action on. I have to remove it before I can put the other one on. She's got ridiculous movement because of her boots. So if I put that on... Could be quite interesting, couldn't it? She's definitely not gonna not be able to move around after all. Right, she even got Latia from that. She's got Clock Up X, she's got Clock Down. She has Hell's Gate now. She has lots of different fire spells. Too bad she's not a caster. We just want her to move fast so she can beat people up better.
That is not going to impede her movement whatsoever. Look at the movement rate. Oh! That was a bit more of an unnecessary death blow, I've got to say. I just wasn't expecting it. It's an unexpected death blow. So 50% extra speed for Estelle as she levels up. But there's just endless paths. Where's the end path? We are like the first explorers of the ancient kingdom that we come from. Not done yet. And we're taking an Erebonian with us? What are we doing? Actually, we're taking two Erebonians when you think about it. What am I gonna have to go back that way at this point? It's a ram powder. Save the world, but you can't remember whether you loot your chest once or not. I can't remember. Monsters! Curio Bar! It's empty, but if you put your head in here, you can hear the ocean. Can you? Which way am I going? I'd miss the door if I didn't have to go back now. That's what worries me the most. I'm expecting I should have to go back, but Olivia's like, please let me cast a spell first. Pretty please, pretty please. Can you do anything faster than him? I should get you the stupidly good buff spells, to be honest. Take that. Good miss rate. Half the party is there, Bernie, yeah. Oh well, it's a joint effort. It's about politics, right? Not done yet. To be honest, I'd be surprised this isn't giving out more experience at this point. Ah! Why dead, Jabba? What you do, Jabba? Phenomenon. An ancient amphibious monster uses various and powerful arts without hesitation. Phenomenal. Now how do I want to get rid of these? It looks like everything's going to go first. Which is always a bit of a... Can I kill anything on this turn? I just want some more CP right now. Olivier's got CP. Everything's going to get turns. That's the real fear I've got at this point. This will knock at least one outside of this abyss full range. Oh, not two. So that's way worse than my original predictions. I guess I'll just get a follow-up death scream here. My arts go first. You've called another one. Weather Seed's preparing to use arts. That thing just walked into range. That's a Weather Seed attack. Okay. Oh, great. They're all within my circle of death. Oh, not another one. I've got more follow ups where that come from, man. I've got more. You'll never survive all of this. Even bigger spells, more spells! No. Can I go faster than this? No. I know who to go for now. Do I have enough craft points to get? This guy's art cancels? Yes. Suck it! the only element I use because it's just so good. 
That's most of our opponents got rid of. Death Scream will take out the ones at the side. Didn't take out one of the Phenomenons, but you look at it, they're just one hit from dying, one of them is. That leaves us with our secondary Phenomenon. Not enough damage. Can you use darts, are you? Like a sniper shot. Weak to water, right? Good job. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Well, that's some experience. I'm not quite sure Olivier's gonna level, but Chloe did. Olivier did, actually. Well, what? How was I not sure he would level? As Olive, Olivier learned Requiem Hearts. Oh. What is that? He got a new S break. And now we're just like, ah, monsters. We just got jumped upon by monsters and no one cares. Requiem Hearts, a raging barrage of shots that shatter the silence. Did I miss a door back here? I missed the door way earlier. Okay, this is just a straight shot path. Now where am I going then? It's endless monsters! I want to see what Requiem Hearts does. But I really should keep your CP just in case. Damn it. I still haven't used Tita's special... Super special gun of Gatling. Someone call that guy an ambulance. It's 999. <laughs> Still doing zero melee. Physical. <laughs> Joshua's still got EP for days. That's that. Let's move 27 out. experience per fight for the 82s. But everyone else still is appreciating it. Now where? We're just following this path to the end of time. One day we'll be there. Get him. Take that. Hold zero again, because they're high defensive. This is our first long period of sustained battling for like a very long time in game time when That's I think about it. Cool. Well, Olivia That's takes cool. another level, 74. Who's our other lowest level? I think it's Aga at 75, right? Now where am I going? I've missed one door. I'm not going back the same way I did before. Where am I? You finally, this we made it to a residential block. Oh, what a lovely city! I would guess this is where the ancients actually dwelled. Yes, it does seem like more of a residential area than our crash site is. Yeah, it's kind of nice and homey here, I guess. But you know, this just bothers me even more. Why did the residents abandon such a nice city? It seems like a good place to find an answer to that question. We need to find a new route anyway, so shall we investigate? Yeah, okay. So don't tell me, we're going around we're going around investigating the place. We activate the rail as we go so we can get back to where we were. There's monsters in here. Little weird, stupidly massively nailed kangaroo bear marifs. An evil marsupial monster marsupial monster company will sharp poisonous claws. Smack. Deserve it. Ah. Right, even you could do damage on this turn, but we're gonna turn it into a spell. What are you weak to? Nothing? 
Anything will do then. We've got all the heals you could ever need. It takes us a while to even get to a spell that does damage. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. Let's at least let her get some CP again. I wouldn't say the experience is going up. It's kind of just going down as we go. No more 1,000 experience per battle kind of thing here. Right. Let's check out what's in these places. Hey, we've seen some of these before. Nothing. Cradle. Residential terminal numbers. Checking ID, no match. Unable to confirm ID of terminal owner. Your viewable entries are limited. Okay. Check new recipes. Resurrect jelly. Copy data? Sure. When printing data? Complete. Learn the recipe for Resurrect Jelly. Oh, Ronin into the recipe book. I wonder what the principle behind that is. You got me, but that's some crazy technology. Read crystal. Beginning look up. Unable to find data. Please check your crystal and try again. Looks like I have to come back here with something. Okay, cool. I'll take more Sepith any day at this point. EP charge too. Why, the first human ever takes seven from me. I'm so excited. Well, maybe not the first human, I don't know. When is das nunsk git und slotimea? Ja, by your hand, das order die flipper what gets Ha 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 ha! My schwein is kind of by. I don't know. I didn't understand any of that. Was it Monty Python reference? Oh, did I not get that? Oh, I'm terrible. I'm the worst then, obviously. If it was. We got Archaisms in here as well, but that's kind of what we'd have expected to see. It's greatly named the Bone Legger. Why don't you start chopping up this Bone Legger? Watch out for them bone levers. We don't have any wind spells for you? That's a shame. Take that. Did you ever hit? Honest question. Well, it's a while for Olivier's next level. Not so long for Chloe's, by the look of things. 77 is not far off for her. Let's explore more of this. That's a monster over there. It is. I'm taking it that's its face. Alright, a Kamoshi. An ancient cat-like monster, docile unless hungry, can absorb EP. Crazy land, we... Crazy place. Oh, that's a bad spell. That was not in the right place at all. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Except Gehenna's placement is not on the monster. Whoops. That is the Monty Python joke. Then. Okay. I'm a failure of an Englishman. Quite evidently. I'm just going to move you to here, Joshua, so you can finish up once it's all done. This should be some good CP for Chloe. Everyone else is maxed out. And a death blow. If you typed it into Google, that joke, you used to say fatal error in it. How dare. Googles have sense of old humours. Alright, so there's the one building we've been in over there. There's a building all the way over here. Ooh. It's a bar, not just a building. 
Some kind of projection of the stars around the building. Thank you for patronage. Currently, due to system errors, items that can be selected are limited. Accept package. Beginning lookup. Unable to find data. There are no packages for this user at this time. No. Alright, gummy eyeballs or food. How long has that food been here? This applauds your dedication to larceny. Yes, well, whatever. I'm just kind of like thinking about that and going like, how long does being in an ultimate dimension mean that you stay fresh? Even more foodstuffs. Lewis and Calvard aren't this desperate. You can't beat a Calvard. The chest wants to know what it's done to his treatment. No, I just stole it. I wonder what ancient booze tastes like. Livia must think that too, right? Don't show Shara. Just be there for the end of time. Alright, there's another bone legger. No, give it back! That was my spleen! Not again. I keep taking out people's spleens all the time. I think I was a bad person, by the way, this keeps happening. I think if we attack there, from the angle of attack that Stell should come in from, it stays within the white Gehenna. And I'll just charge a spell even though it won't likely hit anyway. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. That's that. That's he who moves out. first gets the CP. Alright, nothing up over here apart from that monster in that chest. I feel like we should have took an archaeologist with us. I feel like we're not doing this the greatest of respects. I feel like there should be someone with us, like, documenting as we go. This is a bit much to observe. Surely there's a combat archaeologist out there somewhere. I'm not speaking Weissman. Need more Sepith? Get a silk bag for the graveyard duck to loot longer. What? I don't get it anymore! Is this another Monty Python reference? What? I don't understand. Residential terminal numbers! ID no match. Unable to confirm ID of terminal owner, your viewable entries are limited again. A bulletin board. Improvements to distribution service and gospel update. Here at Liber Arc City, in order to ensure our citizens lead a pleasant, fulfilled life, we have established a distribution service offering music and images with a theme of healing, which has proven popular with the citizenry, but also with persons experiencing concerns regarding mental and emotional ailments. However, while this service offers a significant selection, it remains somewhat uniform and one-sided. As such, we have been receiving a great deal of feedback from the citizenry asking for it to respond to a wide variety of personal tastes. In order to accommodate these opinions, our city wishes to proceed with enhancing our service's variety to can provide all citizens with a satisfying experience. For that end, we will need to offer an upgrade to all citizens' personal gospels. We ask that you inquire at your local city government office and undergo upgrade procedures there. Furthermore, as this upgrade applies to all citizens, after a period of time, non-upgraded Gospels will become unusable. We understand this may be somewhat problematic, but we sincerely ask for your cooperation. Interesting. Material bomb. Empty, but that should come as no surprise. Anything else in here? What was the joke? I've got to get past the monster again together. Nope, we'll just have to watch it back later. <laughs> There's something about looting a silk bag from a duck in a graveyard. I don't know. It was very confusing. <laughs> it was just a sentence. And that's all I could think of it at the time. I was like, that's a sentence. And that is very much a sentence. I don't even know why there's monsters walking around here, to be honest. I 
Thank you very much for giving us up to Catstar there, Link. I understand there must be some kind of guard people around to, of course, guard. But they're kind of so sparse. And then there's the monsters too. I'd expect maybe the robots to be there to kill the monsters. Or cull them as Chloe loves chain free. Oh, of course, Chloe's got her offensive special now as well. I gotta go this way to check if there's any more treasure chests. There is not. Uh oh! Joshua, look! I see it. Why the heck is. Yeah, archaism. What? What? They got on! They lived! Don't get any closer, you! I won't let you hurt the bobcat anymore! Kyle, Don, Joshua. Looks like someone's in over their head. Of course she'd rub in. Airhead girl, and you can always poke a nice big air hole in your head with my staff, you grimy tomboy. Talk later. We have a fight on our hands first. Y yeah. Oh, brother. Don't you help. Oh, you're already low HP. It's great to know. How are we supposed to save you then? If you get hit, then you go down. Oh, wait a second, I can save you. <laughs> How much HP do you think she's got? Like, thinking about it, oh, wait a second, we do have a way to heal her. Because Estelle can move anywhere. It doesn't matter, Estelle can make it. And then we can cut down the amount of enemies on the field in one split second. We have a waste of an item on us. I'm a good boy. Well, that makes it a little bit more in our favour, does it not? Cyclone laser. I thought that was on me. Your speed is neutered. Oh, you can't speed down you. Okay, brilliant. Once your speed isn't neutered, we'll go to work on you. Any spell should do, right? You're doing Olivier damage. my defense down, what does that really mean? That should be fine, right? Net laser. Now you're blowing my movement. Alright, well, no, wrong person. You can move anywhere, it's fine. You, even with your movement cut, you're still ridiculously faster. It seems like using Joshua's art has actually caused him to be well behind the chain. Like, none of them want to even move. They're all fine attacking you from over here. You do know that, right? Well, we saved her. She's all good. We got enough spells to finish this off already. Looks like we are moving a bit up the turn order. And that should be that, really. Any art can do it. Unless it explodes. I didn't check if it explodes. That's that point. Phew. Let's move out. No explosion, life is good. Olivier is getting ever so close to a 76 by the look of it now. Phew. 
Phew. Okay, that's that. Then you bet my staff on that big one. That was one of society's heavyweight archaism and weapons, the Leo or Gun Easy. It's meant to be used for a location defense though, not assault. We can wonder about that later. I'm glad you're safe, Giuseppe. What are the capitals doing here? Yeah, um, after you left, we hit out near the border, but then this weird thing appeared in the sky, and when we tried to check it out, the Bobcat's power cut out. And so you guys cratered. No, hang on. Shouldn't your brothers be here? You guys are usually all together. Did they head out to scout or something? My bro... My... Whoa, whoa, hey! What's wrong? Giuseppe, please calm down. We're here, don't worry. Take your time and tell us what happened. Joshua! Joshua! Oh my! Well then. Well, uh, hey! Those creeps took my family! Khan and Dom baited them so I could get away! Joshua! What do I do? Sorry I lost it. Guess you guys didn't expect that, huh? I think I'm a little calmer now. Eyes on you, Capua. Eyes on. <clears throat> so, Giuseppe, can you tell us what exactly happened? I think so, yeah. So we managed to crash about as gracefully as we could, right? And hey, our ovens work now, so we got to work fixing the Bobcat. The engine wasn't really damaged, but the rest of the ship was a mess. We were nosing around looking for material to use for repairs. Hmm, so we share on the same fate. It was, um, three days ago now? We'd gotten the materials we needed and we're just about to start the real repair work when this octopus-like machine appeared. After I shot it, a red airship showed up. Jaegers came flooding out of it as soon as it landed. Ah, of course, you shot down a Vogel. They used those for scanning patrols. It alerted the enemy to your location the instant it was destroyed. I knew it! What What do I do? It's not my fault Kyle and Don were taken. Giuseppe. Ah, for the... N knock it off with the mopey face. If they got caught, let's go rescue them. Even if they are criminals themselves, if they're being held illegally, then they deserve brace of protection. Besides, we have some biscuits to grind with this society anyway. We'll save your brothers while we're at it. Estelle. Uh, hold on a sec. What makes you think we want to be saved by the likes of braces? Uh, the likes of braces, huh? So you can save them all by yourself. Uh, besides, you helped us when we were escaping the Glorious. It's way past time we return the favor. Mm. Joseph, Estelle's right. If you run in on your own, you'll just be caught, and you won't help anyone just staying here. You know that, right? Hmm. Why don't you head to the RCL for the moment? I suspect Carl and the others are being kept on the Glorious. There's a good chance it's docked to the island somewhere. If we continue to investigate, I suspect we'll find it. We'll tell you when we locate it, I promise. Alright, if you say so, Joshua. I'm not gonna just sit around and twiddle my thumbs, though. I'm gonna help, too. You want me to tag along? You just say so. I'll even help fix your ship. Yeah, yeah, okay. You can try to impress all you want, but it's still too late, Miss Tomboy. Psh, at least I am impressive. I'm more ways than one compared to you. What was that? Come on now, really. I don't know what it is with you two, but can't you try to get along? Uh, Joshua? Did he just say that? He just said that. Hmm? You stepped on a landmine, my friend. You utter dunce. Hey, Capua. Truth for the moment, okay? Agreed. We have bigger fish to fry than each other right now. Uh, wait. I'm glad you two are calling a truce, but what bigger fish are you talking about? Did I... Oh no, it's nothing. Now, why would you think a thing like that? Hmm... Okay. Why did their smiles fill me with such terror? Please form your party. You may choose two other members aside from the mandatory members. Remove members will return to the RCL. What? Best in the back. <laughs> what? Josette is a. You're I'm, right, I'm continuing with these guys for now. That's. Go. Go to the RCL. You're a party member? Send her back at the moment because I'm not ready to like deal with all that setup. Right then, let's get back to it. Before she left, Josette said she hadn't found any other ways out. Yes, the bridges to the neighboring sector seem to have collapsed some time ago. It may be worth our time to search this district again. We may be able to find a clue of some sort. So much of that. Even more characters? Unreal. Wait, where am I now? I've been warped forward, haven't I? 
So I was over here. Then they zooped. Then they had a battle here. Okay, cool. Now I know where I am. I need to know that. Is there a treasure chest out on this island? Nope. Is there a treasure chest behind this building? No. Did I just fall out the sky? Yes. Is there anything else in here? Oh, there's a terminal again. No match. Unable to confirm ID of terminal owner. Your viewable entries are limited. Bloodborne. Important heightened city security. In recent years, there's been a notable increase in crime in less populated areas of the city, such as the Factoria blocks. As a result, this heightened security measures were introduced. And while some citizens may have experienced some inconvenience as a result, those measures were designed to have the least impact possible on individual freedoms. However, despite these measures, the crime rate continues to increase. The council therefore asks that citizens cooperate with a number of restrictions. The following will apply to all citizens. Terminal use will require personal possible ID checks. Periodic inspections will be performed in all blocks. Civilian access and the access pillar is restricted. The tight security may result in some inconvenience for citizens, but these measures are designed to ensure the safety of all residents of our fair city. We hope you understand and will offer your complete cooperation. Liver Arc Security Division. I right, know chests in there. I guess we'll keep exploring. It's a big lot of land to explore, after all. No treasure chest behind you either. I like how that weird thing just lives there. Now that's busted. By this. We can enter the Bobcat. Oh yeah, they got an orbital recharge point. Oh wait a second, everyone's rested anyway. And weirdly enough, when I saw that, I was like, they don't work. Oh wait, yeah, well, they didn't work, but now we're in a place where they can work. Look at them, carrying one with them everywhere. That's a brilliant idea. It's like we should have one maybe on the RCL. Technological ship of the ages? Come on. We should. All right, there's another lift over here. I mean, yes, we can rest on a bed. So we need to undo the lock there for another set of tunnels by look at things. Alright, let's check over here to see if there's anything. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Doesn't seem that like monster wants to get me because, of course, I'm carrying haze. No treasure chest anywhere. What's this big room then? This is some kind of. You know what? Is it worth me even trying to guess? Welcome to the Cradle Municipal Office when I can find out. This office is currently outside normal service hours. Persons with business are asked to select direct service from the automated service window at the back. Okay, direct service. Sure. There's some chests in there as well. Can't talk to these ones. I found a gold gem now. You obtain nothing, absolutely nothing. Now I got a gold gem. And an S tablet. Let's take all the titles we actually left in this game at launch and shove them all in here. Pretend they never happened. See, at least they were aware. <laughs> Make it an in-joke. Works out perfectly, right? Alright. So I'm guessing the gold gem is going to be EP cut. Yeah. EP cut 5. Gives me even more power than before. So would it be best to put that on you? I can't move that one. That has to be in that slot, doesn't it? Oh no, I can move that one. No, I can't move that one. Yes, I can move that one? Yes, I can move that one. So that's a cast too. If I remove that for you, I should give you access to a little bit more in the range of spells, I'm right from right saying. Actually, no, it'd be better for Chloe. Oh yeah, way better for Chloe. Let's give the gold gem then. I'm thinking in that sense it might be better for her because she'll get white Gehenna. There we go. So that's nice. I'm gonna think about who it would be best on in the end, the end. Cradle 35 Municipal Office. Access to services limited to citizens only. Due to communication interruption with the access pillar, services may be temporarily restricted. Database access. Halo Realm. About the Halo Realm. 
Halo Bell is a groundbreaking transit method unique to the Liber Arc, utilizing our powerful spatial manipulation technology, the system projects force-filled rails as needed, removing all need for physical rails. Perhaps the greatest advantage of the system is the total lack of restriction on rail placement. It is possible to flexibly connect every one of the city's countless stations directly. The Halo Rails helps carry all citizens to a pleasant, fulfilling city life. Should you have business in other sectors, be sure to make use of it. All Halo Rail station terminals are capable of printing rail passes and offer a host of other services. At these, the online shop is noteworthy for providing various useful daily items, as well as for offering many sorts of tickets and passes. Furthermore, in the case that the Halo Rail main service is inoperative for some reason, users may also engage the station in emergency operations mode, as well as open emergency substratum passages at all terminals. Emergency operations mode is, as the name implies, the uh, emergency last-ditch operation mode for the Halo Rail service. Should an emergency arise in which power from the excess pillar is cut to the Halo Rail, this mode switches the rail to local backup, allowing for semi-normal operation on a temporary basis. As this mode is operated on a station-by-station -station basis, should multiple stations suffer power cuts, emergency operations mode must be enabled at each station or they will not be able to connect. Basically, enable myself another one and I can maybe go back to request a gospel reprint. Due to current communication errors with the access pillar, central registrar, all reissued gospels will be temporary. Please enter the name of the applicant for comparison to local database. Um. Definitely. When I'm thinking about people that might be able to have a name on there, we know that someone does because we've read some stuff. Oh. Please enter your name, Elric George Edelhoff. It was Celeste, wasn't it? Uh, I've lost my count! Oh, there we go. I lost my thing. <laughs> Alright. What the heck? I must be matching the name and biological signature of the applicant with a database of citizens. But wait, is this a biological match? Yes, it seems to think I'm one of my ancestors. If only we knew their name. I do know it. Wait, bell ringing. One way or another, this all seems pretty advanced and probably a little over our heads. It might be a good idea to go back and talk to Professor Russell about this. Now, I could do it. I just needed my thing to not go missing. So, Chloe. Celeste. I think it might be D. Yeah, was it D? Ausleys. Name match found. Buyer pattern 73% match to records. Applicant temporarily recognizes Celeste the Ausleys. Reprinting gospel. Oh! Whoa! Looks like spatial translocation. Received original gospel. It's a real gospel, just they use the ancient past. Yeah, society replicas are amazingly accurate. So we were right. Celeste the Ausleys mentioned the towers was your ancestor, Chloe. They must be. They must have been the one who took charge in leading people from the city. I'm a little surprised the computer thinks we're so biologically similar, though. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it's another one for divine providence. Anyway, I sure won't complain about having a gospel in our pocket. Let's take it with us. Good idea. What am I doing with it? Using it for orbital shutdown of some places? Using it in those machines to maybe get some information, because now I've got the gospel, so therefore I can get into the unregistered information? That sounds like the more likely point, doesn't it? That one doesn't have one, though. Oh, no, it does. Right, checking ID. No match. Okay. I need to find the house that maybe she had then, as well. Okay, that's interesting. Now, we checked out there. We got this. Will that take me up to the terminal rail as well? Alright, does look like it. Let's reactivate the rail. Halo Rail Cradle Station. The Halo Rail system is currently operating at limited capacity. Yes, we know. What's the online shop got here? Oh, completely different gems again. ADF plus 150. ATS minus 9%. Superly good defense gem. This is where you could just end up making ridiculously good spells for ages. Right, we want the gate lock release. In the end of service disruption in the Halo Belt, a gate may be unlocked at each station in substratum access passages. Right, unlocking the gate will require identif identification. Please present your gospel for ID now. Present your gospel for ID? Hey! Looks like some of the gates are probably locked after all. But yeah, I wonder. We use this gospel we got. So I've got to use it right here. 
Let's uh, start up the halo again. Very interesting. Here it comes. So we should finally be able to use these things, right? I think so. Let's get on and try. We didn't get on the other one. I'm guessing if I got on the other one before it was said, oh, it doesn't go anywhere. We need to activate more stations. Oh, wrong button. What the information? Located on the south side of Libart, the Cradle District is the cosy, beloved home of the majority of the Arctic citizens. It's comprised of 128 blocks, each of its own Haley Rail Station, public service buildings, city offices, and event halls, allowing citizens to enjoy everything the Ark has to offer, all close to home. As there are vacancies in a third of the blocks due to recent population changes, feel free to inquire about owning another home at the nearest city office. I want all the homes. Not by the look of it. That will unlock way down there. Another tunnel to explore. But a treasure chest we haven't even got in the previous area. Locks on gate and station vicinity have been removed. Tunnel is now usable. Alright, let's see where this can take me now then. West Kamar Station, so it can take me all the way back. Now I want to go check out that tunnel and find out what door I didn't go through. And get whatever goodies inside. But I think it's time to kind of wrap it up for yet another episode, yet another session. Now that we're here with so much to explore, so much to do, so much to see. A completely crazy place. Wow, that didn't take very long. For as fast as it went, there was barely any vibration or unsteadiness either. To be honest, this technology is a bit mind-blowing. No kidding, still. As nice as it is to go fast, the view was amazing too. I kind of wish it went a little bit slower so you can enjoy it. <laughs> it is, unfortunately. <laughs> and of course, this also solves the travel problems we have had. It would behoove us to locate the local rail station as soon as we enter a new area, I believe. As soon as I've secured access back to a uh, ship. And I think it's time for us to leave a bedtime story. check out some more stuff in a little bit once you've regained access I wonder if like things have moved on like with their clearance as well do you think they cleared anything else out oh they made a bridge they're moving that now wow there's a lot more going on in there so bridge straight up here and you can go check things out share has even moved over there so we're moving things on by doing our events within the place and apart from that, I'm just checking if anything more has translated itself in the meantime. Indeed it has, so we've got even more to read there, but for now we will end it here by reading Gambler Jack in its completion. So, it's time for your bedtime story as we continue on the final chapter of second chapter next time. Right then, books time. Hamlet Jack, Volume 11. Story time time. Chapter 11, The Decisive Moment. Jack, Halley chided. You're so busy talking, you're forgetting to play the game. Enough. I'll set up things here now. Halley's words reignited the crowd. The silent hall burst into excited chatter as she pushed forward every last chip in her pile. Perhaps she was just that confident, but Halley had already had a significant lead on Jack. He couldn't possibly accept the bet. Could he? To match my bet, since you seem a little short, how about you wager your life? Ali reached under the table and unholstered an orbital gun. She set it and a bullet on the table by her chips. If I win, say goodbye to life here and now. Jack leaned back in his chair and whistled. Now how can I accept such a stupid bet? But Jack's words betrayed the expectations of the audience. Expectations he didn't mean to follow. Alright, that bet, I'll call it. One way or another, when I lose I'm dead. Again, the audience exploded in excitement. Enrique looked overjoyed. One sat quietly without comment. Neither side changed out a single card. Both hid their cards. So what happened to the man? Halle asked, seemingly smug with victory. Or well, possibly she was just asking to hear Jack's final words. The man never won against the one that he admired. Silence followed in the wake of his words. In that one moment, Halle's unfailing mask shattered to pieces. 
Her true expression shown at last was full of rage that even Enrique had never seen. What are you saying? You won, didn't you? Here, in this very hall? Tears flooded Halley's eyes. And in doing so, you made a fool of my papa! Jack leaned forward, his eyes locked on hers. No, your father never lost. Not to me. He never felt left, felt even a second of misery or frustration. Your father, King, he... To protect what mattered to him, he chose to lose the match himself. King's pride has never been touched. Enrique panicked when he heard this. He sent his thugs forward to silence Jack. With a snap of his fingers, Juan sent his own men to stop Enrique from interfering and asked Jack to explain his words. The crowd was in an uproar, and a sign from Chief Minister Shamrock, the dealer flipped both players' cards. Jack had four kings. Halley, four jacks. It was a total upset victory for Jack. The crowd's calls died down until silence was once again absolute in the hall. See, Jack muttered, Jack can't beat King. Chapter 12, The Truth. The charged battle had closed with Jack's dramatic upset of a victory. Putting aside Jack's words for the moment, Juan took a moment to appreciate the relief he felt from Jack's win. Conversely, Enrique sat stunned, head in his hands. And he stared blankly at the cards. Her eyes were wide, disbelieving. No way! How did you... Four kings? That... That should be my hand! Hearing this, Enrique began to object violently. Jack cheated, he insisted. The match was a wash. Nope, but Jack had lost for breaking the rules. Give it up, Don Enrique, one said. If you think so, then how about you show us, huh? So it's exactly what it is Jack did. One stood resolutely, arms crossed. Cheating's fine as long as you're not caught, he recited. It was a cool rule of the match, and Enrique knew it. There was nothing he could say back that could lay bare the trick. He started to pick over every single thing that Jack had done. Impossible. Jack denied it all with a single word. This is a technique the king used seven years ago. I didn't know it at the time, so there's no way Mr. Enrique could. Jack's gaze moved to Halley. To make me win, and to keep you safe, Halley, King used this very trick. Truly a trick worthy of a king. Head bowed, he continued. I never understood. If he had a great trick like this up his sleeve, then what on earth would make King do something dumb like throw away a match? I hate King for that, you know? Hell, I've spent these seven years consoling myself by drowning in booze. Jack looked up, eyes bright. But yesterday, I finally understood. An invitation of yours, Ali. The moment I saw Mr. Enrique's name on it, everything connected in my head. It was that day seven years ago, right around there. Halley, here, King's daughter. She was in bed struck with an unknown disease. Jack's word had, words had Halley like a fish on a hook. So what if I was? That isn't any kind of answer at all. Jack continued on, ignoring her. And around seven years ago, around then, I heard a certain rumor about Mr. Enrique. Word was he'd gotten his hands on some kind of special poison. It was something like that anyway. Perhaps some other people had heard this rumour too, for a wave of whispers ran through the crowd. Enrique just stared at the ground, biting his lip. Ali is suffering from an unknown disease. The rumours around Mr. Enrique at the time, and lastly King and the way he chose to lose to me on purpose. The only thing that links these three together is one simple truth. Juan leapt to his feet, fury writ all over his features. He began screaming at Enrique. You! Seven years ago you poisoned this girl, and then... Then you threatened King with it! Chapter 13, The Sense You put your poison into this girl and then threatened King, didn't you? Every word from one's mouth made Halley stiffen like she'd been punched. Shocked voices rippled through the audience. Before one's demands, Enrique desperately tried to put a defense together. He also tried to conceal his shaking, but the certainty of his guilt was too obvious. Under the suspicious eyes of his fellow criminals, the way he tried to make excuses was somehow ironic. Everyone began to believe what Jack was saying. Of course, there was no proof anywhere that Enrique had poisoned Halley seven years ago, and Enrique's claims didn't make any sense to them. Conversely, Jack's made far too much. In the underworld, betrayal was a constant companion. That's precisely why, though, in this world, sense, rational, and logic logicality in events was so important. Yes, got that word. As long as you play by that rule, proof didn't mean a thing. It was clear that Enrique would be punished somehow. As this fact finally dawned on him, he ceased his protestations. Halle Melissa still, utterly still. She was rocked by so much emotion of so many kinds that it rooted her to the floor. My father never lost, she whispered. The truth was a comforting balm to her heart, but at the same time filled her with a deep sense of loss. Her father had chosen death himself. The very thought of it was far too big and far too sad. The flames of revenge that had fueled her actions suddenly and utterly went out, and as her once burning drive died, soon all that remained was thin smoke and cold white ash where anger had been. 
That means that for me, Papa, the feelings began to well up, turn to words, and as they parted from her, something snapped. Falling to the floor, Halley curled up in a ball and began to cry like a child. Glancing at Halley from the corner of his eye, one put a hand on Jack's shoulder and patted him in a congratulatory way. Life's been better than I could have possibly imagined. I'll do anything you ask, if it's in my power, he whispered to Jack. And give me Halley, Jack said without a moment's hesitation. One was hard pressed to answer. No matter how pitiable he found Halley, she was still a pawn of Enrique's. Even if there were to be punishments meted out for the events of seven years ago, her freedom was very much in question. Give Jack what he wants. Would it really be such a problem? The voice from behind both of them froze every single person in the hall. All eyes turned to a single point. The one who drew their gaze was the bearded consultant to the underworld, Chief Minister Shamrock. Giving you the girl isn't a problem, right Enrique? Enrique nodded weakly. Alas, the ship was filled with cheers and celebration. So ends Gambler Jack, the final chapter, to each their own wish. Jack and Halley return to the harbour at dawn. As if it had been an illusion all along, the enormous ship disappeared into the morning fog. What will you do with me then? Halley asked. Nothing. You're free, Jack said. I doubt anyone will ever try to use your life in any deals ever again. Do whatever you wish. Halley was quiet a moment, then said, Hey Jack, why did you do all this for me? There's a glint of white teeth as Jack smiled slightly. King put his life on the line to keep you safe. At the same time, King also saved my life as well. My life was given to me by King. Do you think it's only natural I'd use a life like that to make King's wish come true? Papa's wish? Jack's smile disappeared. I'm sure King regretted it seven years ago. Regretted that he ever set foot in such a world of darkness and that he'd ever put you, his daughter, in such danger. You, you at least should never have gotten wrapped up in this world. I'm sure that was King's wish. I didn't know what to say. Jack continued. If you get it, then don't you ever come back to this world. And with that, Jack strode away and left Halley standing there by the sea. The Calvard Republic. As a city in this country, a place where migrants of the east dreaming of their homeland have recreated their old towns right down to the bright, lacquered tiles. On the north outskirts of that town was a little rundown bar. Over a week had passed since that fateful game. Jack could still be found there in that same old dingy bar. As always, he was at his liquor starting from noon. He had settled things with his past, but he hadn't changed from how he was be before at all. Nope. He was changed. He drank less. And when he drank, he didn't throw it back like a man dying at first, but sipped slowly, enjoying it. And that day once more, the door to the place opened with a sound like a shriek. A new customer stepped into that same old bar, and that new customer was Halley. Jack choked on his whiskey. Halley, what are you doing in here? This ain't the kind of place you should be in. Ignoring his spluttering, she pulled up the stool and smiled brilliantly at him. Hey Jack, she said. Let's play a game. A real shocker of a match. This time, all bets are off. And so ends Gambler Jack. Our full 14 chapters are read. The outro is here, along with the cheer. It is indeed. As we end yet another session, yet another episode of Trails in the Sky. Second chapter, and this session went long. <laughs> Very long indeed. Now I've got to go check Grantsel and make sure I didn't miss anything. Because I'm worried that I may have. So by the time we reach this point, I will have everyone at the same levels, if I have changed anything. <sighs> but we will be continuing on into Liber Arc. Trying to find out what's going on, what Ouroboros are really after. I'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.